Yo, what's good, wrestling fans? It's your boy SBX coming to you once again. I had to do one more wrestling review, and it's back to the bullshit with WWE. And this time, I want to talk about what happened last Monday on Monday Night Raw. How WWE Hall of Famer Mick Foley pretty much brought to the table with the new championship belt and inducted that you know they wanted to add in another useless title just like you know for example the bullshit Raw championship title the universal championship title so it's, it's like every time that I watch Raw the, the more I watch it the more bored and more Un- uninterested they I feel when they pretty much give us some bullshit promos or introduce you to something that is kind of like you know what is the point on doing that so anyways I want to talk about why the 24-7 championship title is a flop to me so to be honest this belt is ugly as fuck for and I think they, I think it's doing that because it's just a re, um, replacement towards how the Attitude Era had the Hardcore Championship title belt, and it's been gone for like a very long time. You know, WWE had some good title belts and some bullshit belts. You know, so I can't tell that they're just doing it just because to give some type of clout or if they're going to do it just for whatever Vince's opinion is you know or his idea and we already know what Vince's ideas are about and how we're feeling about it so honestly I mean it's, I think this belt like I said is really fucking ugly because it does not look cool and it's a dumb name of the title the 24-7 belt because, you know, first of all, Raw, SmackDown, 204, I mean 205, or anywhere outside of the WWE, you don't carry the belt for 24-7. So, to me, it's a dumb name. They could have stick to a better name than that, you know? I mean... <laughs> It's stupid. I'm just, I'm just being real. It's really stupid. It's a dumb name of a title. It's a dumb looking belt, and it's fucking useless. And to be honest, this is the, it's, this is the belt for jobbers. To be honest, or just wrestlers who don't even have a push. So you have all these wrestlers like No Way Jose, or um, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson. The list goes on. We're fighting over the belt, pushing each other like this is a Royal Rumble match. So this belt is like anybody can, you know, get this belt and anybody can just, you know, basically lose their belt by any means, by any time. So it's, it's acting like the Money in the Bank briefcase where, you know, anybody will try you by any time where... When a wrestler is going down, tired, motherfucker will try you once he cash in that briefcase or whatever. Except this is not really a briefcase. So I, I feel like th- it is really pointless of this belt. Like they could have just named it the uh, Hardcore Championship belt. Or if they want to bring back like the European title, which that's pretty bogus. I just think WWE need to leave it alone as it is. We don't need another championship belt title. Well, WWE doesn't need another championship title. Because, to be honest, the United States Championship and Intercontinental and the Universal Championship titles are garbage anyways. Like, I, I miss belts where it was like, for example, the old school women's championship belt, which is the Divas, but I mean, uh, what else? I miss the undisputed championship title and just having two belts at the same time, you know? So anyways, like, 
it was kind of stupid where in a match everybody is competing for the belt and then all of a sudden like you know Titus O'Neil he almost had won the belt he won the belt and then he lost by you know Robert Roode and then next thing you know everybody was chasing after him and then Robert Roode saw R-Truth and R-Truth try to pretend that he can help him by hiding me hiding in the um, trunk of the car or whatever and then next thing you know he got out and R-Truth played him and pretty much beat his ass and then R-Truth is the 24-7 champion so to be honest it's like what is the point on having this championship title belt and it's like okay Kofi Kingston is the you know a black world heavyweight championship for the long I mean it's, we, we haven't seen any champions for a long time that were black so we have Arc truth and he's like He's kind of like on a jobber's perspective now. It's like, and now his 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 airtime is kind of boring. So they might as well just give it to him because he ain't got better to nothing better to do with his time in the WWE. So honestly, this this belt is stupid. This belt's for jobbers. It's the jobber championship challenge. That's what it should call the world heavyweight jobber champion. That's what it should call. For champ for jobbers and jobbers only. So, if I were to be working for the WWE, I would probably would want to win that championship title. I would look for if I were a tag team, I'd probably do tag team. If I were to do like Intercontinental or Universal, I mean not Universal, but United States, or just stick to the SmackDown brand and just win the WWE title. But if I would want to just build a reputation, I might as well win all championships. But not even this bullshit is not even worth winning for. So, yeah, WWE is still garbage. Until then, I'm going to still continue on riding for AEW. Anyways, folks, I like to hear people about your opinion about this bullshit belt. Or if you have a different opinion, please... Lay it out for me. Leave your comments in the comment section below how you feel about this bullshit championship belt. And make sure you hit that bell icon and subscribe to my channel. Until then, folks, SBX wrapping this shit up. Thanks for watching. Peace the fuck out.